Have you ever wished you could carry more stuff with your own bike? My name's Jonas and I volunteer with the Mount Pleasant Community Association in Calgary. And I want to tell you about our We Haul Bike Trailer Sharing Program. Our Green Initiatives Committee has a cargo trailer that attaches to the seat post of your bicycle and you can use it to carry just about anything you want, up to 60 pounds anyway. The trailer is stored by the Mount Pleasant Outdoor Pool to the right of the main entrance facing 6th Street between 22nd and 23rd Avenues Northwest. It's in a gray metal storage box that's locked with two combination padlocks. You'll get the codes when you sign up to use the WeHaul program. Once you turn the dials to the right combination, you can pull the lock and lay it flat so that the box can open. I'll have detailed unlocking and locking instructions in another video. So let's see what's in here. We've got the trailer itself. It's folded up for storage. To the right of the trailer, there's a tarp that you can use if you need to protect your cargo from rain. And then to the left, there's some accessories. The toolbox contains cargo straps, bungee cords, and some free Calgary bike maps. The smaller container has the hitch that attaches the trailer to your bike. Let's pull out the trailer. You'll need to take it out of the box and then unfold it. Start by pulling out the kickstand at the bottom. Then pull the cable just under the kickstand to fold out the lower shelf of the trailer. There's a bike lock in there too, you'll take that with you. It's basically going to look like a small moving dolly when we're done. The frame unfolds by twisting the black handle in the middle to release the upper part of the frame. And then you'll do the same thing at the very top to access the towing arm. This is the part that attaches to the trailer hitch. There it is, all unfolded. Next, you'll grab the container out of the box that says trailer hitch and pull out the hitch. It'll wrap around your seat post. You'll use the bolt that looks like a T to adjust the size. Once you have it sized, close the clamp, make sure it's tight, and that the main part of the hitch is facing back with the pin pointing up. After that, you can line up the trailer's towing arm with the hitch and lock it into place. It's ready to tow. Don't forget to bring this chain lock with you so that you can secure the bike trailer to a rack at any stop. When you're ready to secure your cargo, check out the bungee cords and the cargo straps that we have available. And you can take a map if you like. Once you're all good to go, please close the lid of the box and lock the padlocks. As I said, I'll have more instructions in another video. Now you might be wondering what you can actually do with this thing. Next, I'll show you a few examples of what I've carried with the trailer. One of the simple things you might want to do with the trailer is let it carry your backpack. We have a carabiner clip in the smaller accessories container. You can wrap your backpack straps around the top of the frame and clip the straps together at the back using the carabiner. It's on there nice and secure, and you don't get a sweaty back. I also went downtown and picked up a banjo at the Memorial Park Library. This is where these cargo straps really come in handy. They actually attach right to some anchor points on the trailer itself. So I put on a couple of those, and then I grabbed some bungee cords to secure it even more tightly. I wrapped a whole bunch of those around, because I like to make sure that my cargo is really secure. And then I was ready to go. I pulled the banjo all the way home from the Memorial Park Library without a problem. I've also done a couple demonstration days with the trailer using a backpack and a small cooler. I rescued a few items from the Mount Pleasant Community Cleanup. You can even just carry a simple cardboard box, and that would help you with tall items too. I went to Plantation Garden Center and got some potting soil. And I even pulled my favorite long game, croquet, to the field. 
Once you're finished with the trailer, bring it on back to the Mount Pleasant pool and release the trailer from the hitch. You can just stand it off to the side for now while you get the hitch off of your seat post. To do that, simply release the clamp and make sure the T-shaped pin is out of its locked position. And there it goes. To fold the trailer back down, start by twisting the handle at the very top to get the towing arm flat. And then you can twist the handle in the middle and the frame will fold down. Like before, you'll reach under and pull the cable that folds the bottom shelf of the trailer back in. And then you can lay it flat, fold up the kickstand, and the trailer is all folded, ready for storage. So once again, you can open up the box and get everything back inside. Please do put the hitch back in the container, which I'm not doing at the moment to keep things moving along, and put the bungee cords and straps back in that toolbox. You can keep the map if you took one. Next, we'll get the trailer itself back into the box. The wheels go in first, and then roll to the back of the box, and the rest of the trailer rests on the front. Make sure there's a bit of clearance so that the box can close. You'll close up the box just like before, and lock each side before you go. As I said, I'll have detailed instructions for how to lock and unlock the box in a separate video. And after you've done this, you're all good to go. Hey, thanks for checking out the We Haul program, and I hope you get lots of good use out of it. The best way to get in touch with us if you have questions or want to let us know what you haul with We Haul is by email, green at mpca.ca. Happy biking!